racing for the right to be the best in Africa. The motocross of African nations took place on the outskirts of Johannesburg. More than 110 riders took part from seven African countries. And everybody from the youngsters to the seniors, as well as the ladies and veterans, had the chance to win points for their country. This competition dates back to 1999, and it has slowly developed over the years, but it is far from being a level playing field. This is Arthur Blick, the team captain for Uganda. Although Uganda has grown from 2 to 14 riders since the last African Championships, the team's path to South Africa has not been an easy one. The cost of transportation of the riders, then there's the transportation of the motorcycles. Some of us have had to borrow to hire motorcycles from down here in South Africa, and um, many of the motorcycles haven't been in very good shape. We would have loved to, to fly down our motorcycles, uh, but the cost is just so high. So we had to, many of us had to hire motorcycles from here. It's a similar story for Kenya's motocross team. They had nine riders for the meeting. But despite the logistical issues, there is a clear value to taking part in the competition. It's so awesome because you get to experience a lot more except staying in your country. I mean, coming out here is a very huge sacrifice, but it also is, it also is of huge value because it gives you so much experience when you ride. So it's so awesome and so exciting. So I'm really happy to be here. And there are signs of progress. Botswana entered a development team here, while Zambia and Zimbabwe had strong representation. In truth, the championship was never in doubt. South Africa running away with the trophy, much to the satisfaction of their team captain. Yeah, of course, you know, we're very proud to be a part of a team like this, and uh, the guys have been very strong today. They've been fighting and working together, so it's, you know, we're fighting for this championship, and I'm, I'm so glad and really proud of the riders for today, the, the effort they've put in. So delight for South Africa, but if the sport can enjoy further growth across the continent, perhaps their crown will come under some serious threat in the future. Dan Williams, CCTV, Mulder's Drift, South Africa.